Hello everyone, um, welcome to the second part of the login register project. So uh, in the previous part, part one, we created or we completed the login form. Uh, so uh, we simply type in the correct username and password and it should say login successful. Now in this part, we're going to add an extra button. Uh, in case you don't have an account, uh, you should be, uh, you should have the possibility of creating an account. So we're gonna modify this design. Uh, so we're going to add a third button. Okay, so we have the login button and then we have the exit button. So we're gonna keep that here and we're gonna add a third button which is going to be register. So that's the third option. So edit text, so that's going to be register. Um, and also we're gonna change its variable name. So that's going to be btn register. I'll click okay. Okay, now let's create our uh, registration form. So right click on the source package, click new J frame form, and we're going to call this registration. So registration and then click finish. Okay. So let's design a registration form. It should be pretty simple. By the way, this is the uh, most basic login and register form, but you can add as many as uh, controls as you want. That is to make this a more uh, sophisticated application, a application that is rich with um, input. Uh, okay, so we need a text field and we need a password field. Okay, so we have our text field here. We have our password field. Let's modify the text for this. That's going to be username. This is going to be password. And this is going to be called, um, so first of all, let's edit his text and let's remove uh, the default text here. So erase that. Also, same thing for the password. Uh, and let's add a uh, button that says register. Okay, so the button is going to be named BTN register. Okay. Uh, let's not forget to rename these. I'm going to call this txt user register. And I'm going to call this also txt pass register. Okay, so now we named our controls. Everything is set up. And let's uh, change the text for this one also to say register now. Okay. Uh, now let's add the code for the register button. Uh, it is very similar to login, which is which means that we're going to also create our three global variables. So let's just simply copy them from the login um, form. So you could copy these three, which is the connection, the prepare statement, and the result set, and simply just paste them here, uh, in here, okay, in the class level. So click OK. Now we have pasted these three and also imported the packages that um, are the definitions for these. Uh, okay, so now we have those. In addition, we also want to type our also initialize. Uh, so our components, so that's going to be the same thing and make that connection. So copy this line from the login and that's going to go here to make the connection as well. So we're making a connection with login in and also making a connection with the database when registering because login in means we are uh, searching the database and registration, that means we're inputting into the database that means inserting into the database. Now go back to the BTN register action performed and type your code. So the code for the uh, insert is going to be creating, first of all, the um, uh, query, the insert statement. So it's a string variable SQL is going to equal to my insert statement. That's going to be insert into the table name, which is um, 
uh, accounts. Now, if you forgot the name of your table, you could go back to services and go to SQLite's a connection here and open that up. You'll find your tables. So I have accounts and the columns are user and pass. Okay, so that's what I need. So the accounts table, I'm inserting a new account, a new user. Uh, so these are the values that I'm inserting. And in parentheses, I'm going to say that I need a placeholder for password and a placeholder for username. And now I need my prepared statement. So what did I call it? I called it uh, PST. So PST dot um set the string so now we're going to uh tell my insert statement that the first argument is going to be coming from txt user register right we called it dot right, dot get text okay so whatever was typed in the first uh, whatever is typed in the first um, text field is going to be passed to uh, my prepared statement as the first argument for the insert statement. Now it says uh, that I need to put this in a try catch. So let me do that. So I'm going to do try uh, and catch. Uh, that is because in case, let's say, the connection is not successful, uh, it's going to handle that exception uh, and it doesn't uh, make your application crash. OK, so that is for the first argument. So the first argument of this insert statement is coming from this text field. And the second argument is going to come from the second text field. So the first text field gave us first text field which is txt register has given us the um the user and now txt pass is going to give us the password okay uh and those are the two arguments the next thing that we want to do is simply execute this statement so i'm going to say execute Let me get that, execute, and uh, the last thing that we want to do is to have a message uh, pop up here saying that a user has been added, for example, so just to confirm that it was successful, so that is going to say uh, new user is added or registered successfully. Okay. Uh, and the message in case let's say this uh, did not work and uh, there were there was an exception or an error that occurred, we should have a message uh, telling us about that. So we're going to say uh, registration failed, for example. So registration failed. And we're going to add to this uh, plus the message uh, from the exception, more information about that exception. Okay. So now that we have completed the code that does register a new user, so this is going to insert a new row into the accounts table but that's in the registration form, right? This is the registration form. I'm going to actually add a label here to say that this is the registration form. Uh, so edit text, registration form, okay? And let's also change this to 18 bold, click okay. So this is my registration form, okay? And let's go to the login form and also add a label to it and call it login. Okay, let's change its text. So this is login form. Uh, this is a better way to distinguish between the two because they look similar. So I'm gonna make it 18 and bold and click okay. So this is the login form. 
Okay, so now I have two forms, the registration form and I have the login form, okay, two forms. Now, in order for me to get to the registration form, I have to click on the register button in the login form. So that means when this button is clicked, it will make the registration form visible and will make the login form invisible. So I double click the register button and in here, we're going to type the code that's going to bring up the registration form. Um, and the easiest way to do this is to go to the registration form uh, and then go all the way down to the main and then copy this code, which is the code that is usually going to be used uh, to to make uh, this form visible and then go back and paste that code there. Okay, so simply that way. So now if we click on the registration button, it's going to bring up the registration form. And of course, uh, the task that the registration form is uh, responsible for also is going to be processed. Okay, let's test this out. So when we run this, and let's say we don't want to log in, but we want to register. When you click, it's going to bring up the registration form. And here you're going to type, let's say a new user, I'm going to call it new user and password. I'm going to type, let's say five, four, five, four, and let's click register now. So it says registration failed here. Uh, we have to find out what's going on. Okay, so we got a null pointer exception. I think I know what's going on here. I think that is the registration form. Okay, we have this. Okay, there you go. So the prepared statements is going to be executed. We have given it the two arguments, but what's missing here is that we haven't given it the query, the SQL, the insert statement, so it will add those arguments too. So that was the first thing that needed to be added. So we need to say PSC equals C O N dot prepared statement. And we're going to give it the SQL statement. So that was missing. It's mandatory to give the insert statement, which is this into the prepared statement. So the prepared statement will pass these arguments into it instead of these question marks, okay? Sometimes it's really good practice to debug your code. Okay, so now let's run this again, and hopefully it's going to work. So we're going to say register, and in the registration form, we're going to type in new user, and new pass, or maybe we type pass one, two, three. Click register, and it says new user registered successfully. Okay, now uh, let's go to the SQL, uh, SQLite, and then let's run a select statement and see if the new user has been added. So far, we have only these four, but let's run a new. There you go. So a new user now is added. Let's do it again. Uh, and let's register a new user. So for example, let's register uh, Tom and or actually to say Thompson and let's put the new user to be 9658 and click register. It says new user is registered successfully. Let's go back here. Let's run the select statement again so we could see the current uh, rows. And there you go. We have another user Thompson added to our database. So uh, this is the end of this video. Um, I hope you find this project uh, very helpful in understanding how to make the connection between a NetBeans Java project and an SQLite uh, database. Uh, and stay tuned for other projects uh, that are in this scale. Uh, of course, I recommend that you guys go ahead and add more features to this project and build on it. Uh, and uh, I hope uh, you be successful in creating other projects that are similar. Okay, so stay tuned for other projects and peace.